Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Flash Bully, man. I'm trying to walk the bulls. The newest, the newest bulls to the crew, man. We got the XL. And then she stopped running all over my leg. We got that micro. I mean, not the micro. She's a pocket. We got that pocket bull. Pulling me every damn way. Come on. So I'm outside, man. Walking the XL and a pocket bull. We're going to be doing some training with these dogs here. Right now, she's pulling. She's doing a lot of pulling. So I'm going to have to uh, get a, uh, a lead collar for her so she can stop pulling. Only thing wrong with my boy when you're walking with him, man, is he don't know how to stay beside you. He walks in front of you. He walks behind you. Crisscross, man. He just everywhere. So what I want to do is when walking them, man, I want them to walk beside me. This is day one. This is day one of walking the newest members. Y'all remember I have a video walking him already. Kind of want to keep him on the schedule of walking him and building that muscle up. Y'all see he done got a little bit bigger. I love that coat on him and that brown coat. That brown coat is nice. I love that brown coat on him, man. He's a brown try. A chocolate try, if you will. A chocolate try. We're going to be looking for some bitches here soon. He's only nine months, y'all. Nine months. He could be ten months now. I think he's about ten months coming up on ten months. I'm going to have to go check his paperwork, but... I'm out walking the newest, the newest members to the crew, to the kennel. I haven't got a name for her, man. A lot of my family right now is trying to find names for her. But we cannot find a good name for her, a good flashy name for her. And then she wants to shit right here. Right on the sidewalk, man, that's where we getting it. I don't have no bags. I'll find something to scoop it up with. Y'all make sure y'all take care of your dogs and take care of yourselves, man. We go back there and find something to get that poop up with. Come on. For those of you that's new to the uh, Flash Bully Kennel who haven't been here in a while, man, yes, we have tapped into the XL Bullies. So many people wanted uh, wanted me to tap into the XL Bullies, man. I wasn't really a fan of the uh, larger dogs, but once I seen him, man, it was like something that I had to have. I had to have him. I seen a vision. I seen a vision, and I knew it was going to be it was going to be dope. He's only like nine, nine, ten months, y'all. Nine, ten months, XL. This is my newest female. Pocket. She's a pocket female. She has a dope fire bloodline, that Rocco bloodline. Both of them have a fire pad. Fire, fire pit. We just out walking right now. She's used the bathroom. My man hasn't used the bathroom. He pissed, but he didn't shit yet. So we're kind of waiting on that to happen. We over by the woods, which is okay. I don't usually like them to shit in uh, people's yard. 
for one, I don't have bags to get it up out of there. Plus, somebody do that in mine. Somebody's dog uh, did that in my yard, man, and they tried to walk off, man, and I had to make sure that they, you know, told me they didn't have a bag. I had to run in there and get a bag for them so they can pick up the poop out of my yard. It is just respect, man. Common sense and respect. Come on. It's common sense and respect, y'all. If you let your dog use the bathroom, you know, in someone else's yard, you know what I'm saying, have enough... Uh, consideration courtesy to get it up to grab a bag or grab something and get it up out of their yard walking your dogs man especially up like little hills like this will build muscle on your dog. You see your dog's shoulder blades and all that, man, you see. And let them pull you a little bit. That way, that, that's just building a muscle on them because now they got something to pull. I'm 240 pounds and they pulling me up the street, so they're pulling 240 pounds. You're building that muscle. I'm not putting too much strain on them. Yeah, it is better and best if you have a uh, harnessed I'm gonna go get harnesses for them. I'm gonna go get harnesses. That way, uh, that way these collars are not pulling on their necks when they pull us. See, she pooped right here. And we got it up, y'all. We threw it over there in the, uh, cause I ain't want nobody walking on the concrete and stepping in. So I threw it in the sewage. <clears throat> But you definitely want to walk your dogs, man. Probably like, you definitely want to walk them, man, three times a week, I say. If not more, some people walk them every day. You can do it three times a week. It'll definitely build muscle, build stamina. It don't just build muscle, it'll build stamina in them dogs as well. Not to mention it's good for you. Walking is good for the human body. That circulation going. Shit, yeah, I'm out here walking, man. Walking. The newest, the newest additions to the uh, kennel. The newest additions. I don't have a name for her right now. Y'all can think of a nice name, a dope name, a flashy name. Drop it down in the comments. Y'all make sure y'all take care of yourself and these, and these beautiful, beautiful dogs, yeah? Please.